Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. Which of the following DNA sequences could be recognition site for restriction enzyme? And here is the five answers to choose from. And uh, I have a hint for you. This is not answer D, all of the above. And this is not answer E, none of the above. So, so you have to choose between these three sequences. And this is how we are going to solve this problem. So let me uh, write down the sequences once again. So the first one would be T, G, C, C, G, and T. And in order to find out if this can be a recognition site, we have to build another strand of the DNA. So let this be 5 prime end, and this is going to be 3 prime end. So the other strand, 5 prime end, would be here, and 3 prime end would be here. And the other strand sequence would be T would base pairs with A, J with C, C with G, G, C, and A. And um, in order to find out if uh, this can be a recognition site for the restriction enzyme, uh, this fragment, both uh, strands of the DNA, should be read the same at the, uh, say, 5 to 3 direction. So here we have T, G, C, and here we have uh, from the 5 to 3 prime direction A, C, G. So we can say that uh, this is uh, cannot serve as recognition site for the enzyme. Let's check the second sequence and this is uh, T, G, C, G, C, A. So once again 5 and 3 prime ends. So let's build another strand of the DNA. So T base pairs with adenine, zymine with adenine, guanine with cytosine, cytosine with guanine, guanine with cytosine, cytosine with guanine, and adenine with zymine. And once again this is going to be 5 prime end and this is going to be 3 prime end here. So let's read. Here we have T, G, C, and here we have TGC. CG, CA, CG, CA. So this can serve as a recognition site for um, restriction enzyme. And let's check this last uh, variant that is T, G, C, T, and G. C. So 3 prime end, 5 prime end. And the other strand would be 3 and 5 prime ends here. So A, C, G, A, C, G. So as you see, here from 5 to 3 prime end we read T, G, C, and here we have G, C, A. So this also cannot serve as a recognition site for restriction enzyme because, uh, as you know, restriction enzymes uh, make double-stranded cut. For example, cut can look like this, here on this strand and here on this strand. And uh, we are going to get the same sticky ends on the both strands of the DNA. And also cut can be, for example, here on this strand and here on this strand. And in this case, we will get uh, also same uh, sticky ends. And there are different types of um, uh, restriction enzymes. For example, restriction enzyme type 1 would use such a uh, recognition site and make a double strand cut at any different place, uh, but not within this 
sequence. More than 3000 restriction enzyme uh, known, but only about 600 of them are available commercially and most of them belong to the type 2 and type 2 um, restriction enzyme would cut uh, within a sequence. And scientists can use sticky ends uh, for genetic engineering in order to insert a specific uh, genetic sequence in say plasmid, in bacteria or eukaryotic cell. So next question what is a key enzyme used in PCR? So, once again, here is a five answers to choose from. And the correct answer would be answer B. So, um, tag polymerase, tag DNA polymerase is used uh, in order to amplify uh, strengths of the DNA. This polymerase were discovered in bacteria that lives in hot springs and its name um, Thermos aquaticus and that's why uh, this polymerase got this name and it can work up to uh, almost 100 degrees of Celsius uh, for example at the 92 degrees of Celsius it can last up to uh, 2 hours and more at about 95 degrees of Celsius, it can last, uh, uh, half-life would be about 40 minutes and about 97.5 degrees of Celsius, uh, half-life time of this uh, polymerase would be about 9 minutes. And uh, another polymerase that we used before this we were from uh, E. coli and, and this bacteria is not thermophilic, so with each cycle, we have to add more and more enzymes in because uh, when you rise the temperature above uh, 90 degrees of Celsius in order for two strands of the DNA to separate, this enzyme would be also degraded. So with each cycle, you have to add this enzyme. But with discovery of this uh, tag polymerase, uh, all the cycles can go without adding new polymerase, those um, mistakes do happen because this polymerase lack uh, 3 prime to 5 prime uh, proofreading so uh, one mistake can happen in about 9000 base pairs. Nowadays uh, other uh, enzymes from other thermophilic bacteria and archaea are available commercially. This polymerase will uh, isolated by Thomas Brock, American scientist, and he was awarded different prizes in uh, microbiology, though he never got Nobel Prize, but his work were very important for the biotechnology revolution of the 20th century. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.